Hey, Christina, I made it out to Wyoming and I'm just making this really quick because I wanted to say thank you um, for talking to me as long as you did on our drive. Yeah, five and a half hours on the phone. Um, thank you. <laughs> so today was my first day out on the river and the footage is kind of sporadic and things and I promised to make better ones later and it was kind of cloudy and the water is really low right now because they're not releasing a ton of water out of the dam. Um, here it is. Hey Christina, I made it to Wyoming just fine and here's my room. I'm gonna be staying in and you just like set it up a little bit. Got my, my cowboy hat. But uh, I'm gonna take you out on the river today. Pretty excited about that. But check this out, we've, we've like got snow piles out here and stuff but I'm gonna go head over to the boats now. <laughs> hey Scott, you wanna say hi to Christina? Hi Christina. And Pete, you wanna say hey? Hi Christina. What do you guys think of these, uh, with Scott's mustache, or Pete? Who's got a better mustache right now? Christina, you should say. Ramsey, you wanna say hello? Ramsey, show them your mustache. <laughs> <laughs> he's, our, he's our driver. We're heading down to the Snake River right now. And this is Leanne, hi. met her yesterday. She's gonna come with us, but we're just doing kind of a, a look and see trip right now. Yeah, Pete. <laughs> Okay, so we just got here to the river, Christina. I'm just gonna show you a little bit of it. The water's pretty low right now, but um, this is where we're gonna, gonna put the boat in. Pete, can we just Drive see the mustache? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, these are the boats that we use. Pretty cool. Scott, can we get just a good shot of your, let's get it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> a little bit like that. <laughs> uh. Do it again, Pete. Yeah, can you flex now? That was good. I could see it underneath the coat. Yeah. And then push the boat in. One, two, three. You got this, Scott. Pump it. Pump it. Keep bouncing, Pete. <laughs> go, go. Do it on your own. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hop on. Thank you. Safety first. <laughs> See you, Ramsey. Bye. Au revoir. All right, Scott, here we go. Pete, we're going through some big white water. Big white water. Scott's like, I just got it in my, my eye. <laughs> Mate, you splashed my eye. So, Christina, this is the uh, Ansel Adams turn. That, if you know what I mean, you don't know what I mean. <laughs> Pete, tell about the Ansel Adams turn. There once was a man named Ansel. <laughs> and... The turn is named after him. <laughs> <laughs> why, why so? How uh, so? I figured anyone unfortunate enough to have that name deserved something named after <laughs> <laughs> That's the Grand Teton, it's behind oh, clouds. That's t -Bunat. That's t -Bunat. Behind the clouds! Luke fail! Number oh. one. <laughs> What's fail number two? Is that your mustache? There's an osprey about to pull up a fish. Here goes. Here we go. Nope. Oh, it can't. You can't fish. get up, man. Oh. Did he let? Did he let go of the fish? I think he did. Here he comes. Nope. He has it. Why did he take so long to get up? Does he? Nope. He doesn't have it. Oh, he's whining. Let go. He's going right over us. Damn, dude, that was a big fish. If he couldn't uh, <laughs> pull that thing out of the water. He's shaking the. Air. Yeah. Holy With their duck-like feathers. Holy crap. Is he going again? The osprey can fly with the fish that weighs as much as it does. So that must have been yeah, a Yeah, Pete, talk fish. about the osprey for a little bit. <laughs> the osprey is perfectly adapted to fishing. It's successful when it dives down for a fish about 60% of the time compared to a bald eagle, which is only successful about 33% of the time. I kick yeah. you out of the boat now. You can edit that. <laughs> edit that. <laughs> <laughs> We have some organic 
Dancers. Yeah. Where? The coolest birds in the park. They don't care about nothing. They are dogs. <laughs> so merganser is a pretty heavy bird, and the reason why they can't take off without running on the water for about 15 feet is because they have a semi-hollow bone structure. How you cook a common merganser, oh, Christina, here we go. Ready for this? <laughs> Since common merganser is kind of a, a rough fish to eat, you're going to have to use my secret recipe, which to get the full recipe, you're going to have to pay $9.99 online, and then you'll get my phone number and you can call me anytime for the real recipe. But my second favorite recipe is this. First, you take your common merganser and you get a big knife, hack its head off. You then peel away from the neck and take all the feathers and skin off. Find the best red brick you can, place it on top of the brick in the oven, cook about 400 degrees for about an hour and a half, baste very well, take the duck, give it to your dog, and start eating the brick. Oh! oh you! <laughs> get it! Because oh. you don't want to eat the duck! <laughs> so we're on the river, but my battery is about to die, Christina, but here's the mountains. Check it out. They're back there kind of covered by clouds. Scott, Scott's got a question. I for, do have a question. Yeah, and you have to leave a comment in the comment section for Scott's question. All right, I'm wondering what you think, if there is more light bulbs or trees in the world? <laughs> so what do you guys think? I said that there's more, more trees. Pete, what do you think? Light bulbs. Light bulbs. <laughs> and Leanne? I'm gonna go with Luke, I think trees. Then you're both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Christina.